if you could like speak to some of those people, like what, what would you say to people still in the group? Um, yeah, just any, any thoughts that you would have. And it might, might, might be along the same lines of what you just shared. I would just tell them like, Hey, um, this teaching is not true and um it's false and they're manipulating you um they're abusing you that they're using different psychological tactics to keep you enslaved um and like this fear and this condemnation like and like throwing your life away for this like um it's just not <sighs> that they're not following what they think that they are and um that it's just <sighs> that it's just not um that it's just not the truth it's not the truth and that there is only one way to god and it's jesus and that jesus is the way the truth and the life and jesus christ is enough alone and that, um, yeah. Yeah, you've used the word or the the term spiritual abuse a couple times. Um, and so I, I'm wondering, like, have you have you kind of looked into that concept of spiritual abuse since you've, or is that just a, a term you've heard? Or I, I guess I'm asking, like, why do you use? that sort of description when you when you talk about the church of god i do believe that they are u utilizing people's belief system which is something that's so central to people's sense of being and they're utilizing it for their own personal gain and their own personal um mission so mm -hmm. to speak um yeah i think that they're taking one of people's just most vulnerable um, parts of their belief system and that they're abusing it and by taking advantage of it to exploit them and um, to just to reach control. whatever. Yeah. 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 I 100% agree. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I so appreciate you being willing to come on and, and do your part and, sharing your story and just doing, doing this to, to help spread the word and, and tell other people to not join this group, to tend to, to give it a second thought if they are members right now. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And it is just uh, a frustrating and, and somewhat tragic thing that, that there is really at, at the core of what's going on and, and why members leave this group and then it's, you know, spend decades afterwards trying to heal and to like um, get over it and to learn yeah. to actually just function as human beings is because uh, of that that aspect of, of spiritual abuse that really is is happening to to people. It really is an abusive system, um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Absolutely. Um, and so, so yeah, I, I also just, just, I think for those who have left, um, and that are still wrestling with that, I, I just, mm -hmm. I hope that people feel, uh, legitimatized, if that's a word, um, in, in whatever feelings and struggles that people might be having after leaving and just all the, you know, like you're talking about having two weeks afterwards where you, you were suicidal and, and, and just the thoughts you had about your, your spiritual condition in, in that, yeah. that state. So it's just, that's, unfortunately, those are all pretty normal things I think to feel and to think afterwards mm -hmm. um, as a result of, of spending so much time in such a uh, oppressive and abusive culture. Mm -hmm. yes. So, um, but yeah, thank, thank you, you Savannah um, for, for sharing your story and and um, yeah, if, if there's anything else you want to yeah. say here at the end, feel and, free. Um, it really does just break my heart so much that these people that have endured that spiritual abuse, it can make them scared to even want to be around any type of faith. Um, yeah, and even like having it can prevent them from that fear can keep them from pursuing a relationship with Jesus. 
and um and just I just want them to know you know like like I have experienced that healing firsthand and um and that like Jesus says that his perfect love casts out fear because fear has to do with punishment um and like there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus there there's none um because the spirit of life has set you free from the law of sin and death like there's no condemnation and that that healing really is found in Christ and um and like I would not be here and I would not be alive and I would have not made it through this experience if it was not for experiencing that freedom from Christ and the forgiveness and the healing from him through this experience and um I just wanted to share that and I know my thoughts and everything has been all over the place um during this oh, interview because um it really has been a while so it's hard for me to remember a lot mm -hmm. of the stuff that they were teaching specifically about the doctrine and stuff but i really just wanted to come on here to just share that there is hope and there is a way out from that pain that you're feeling in that darkness <laughs>